Aloha, Edmonton. Welcome to the Heartbeat Match. I'm Frankie Diaz, and my mission is to find the perfect match for our singles. Here's the plan. First, the look test. I will interview our singles, then hand them an iPad with a picture of potential match. It's like a game of Tinder, but with a twist. No name, no face, just a number. Because Edmonton is small and everyone seems to know each other, this keeps things exciting and mysterious. Next, the blind date, my favorite one. Each candidate has two minutes to shine with the personality. Our single will pick the one they felt the strongest connection with. Please, sell yourself. And finally, the big reveal. Hey, mama, hey. The candle ceremony. Our single meet their top pick, the physical match and the personality match. Holding a candle symbolizes the spark of love. If they like their chores, they keep the flame alive and passing on. If they blow it out, <laughs> well, mission fail. But wait, I know you're gonna kill me. And the final test, everyone come together with the candle. Our single can decide to keep the match, switch, or try someone new. Will they keep their flame burning or blow it out for a new spark? On this episode, we have... ready to win her heart hey guys so i have my second single lady how are you i'm good Ooh, are you sick today oh no no worry i think i have three questions for you okay. first of all what is your name your age and what you're doing for a living um uh, my name's sammy i am 25 and i was doing respite work for kids with disabilities but now i'm just a caregiver for a couple teenagers at the moment oh that's so cute yeah. so you have a big heart i try i love to like do things to help people and like i don't know i just care about people it makes me happy oh, i love that the quantity is quantity. <laughs> okay, perfect. So this step here, I wanted to ask, what is the really important for you, physical or the personality? Um, I think that it's for me more of like an energy thing, like how a person makes me feel to be around them. Like it's a lot more about who they are, like inside. I think, but for me, it's like an energy. Energy. Yeah, I don't know. So personality is important. Probably. So I'm gonna give your iPad right now with all the phones waiting for you out there, okay. and you have to choose which one you feel like. Okay. The physical part. There we go. This one. This one. This one. Ooh. Okay. And he just looked very cute. I don't know. Oh, you look okay. This, yeah, the style is styling. Right? We love the style. The red jeans are perfect. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> okay, I see. I see. I hope I can find your match. We're going to go to the second step after the blind date, and we hope you're going to find your love here. Definitely. Thank you so we much, Simon. Thank you. Hey, welcome to the Harvey Match. How are you, my single man? <laughs> Yeah. What's your what's your number? Um, I'm number two. What about you? I'm also two. Oh, I love that. Nice, um, nice. what do you do for work? What do you do for work? Well, right now I'm in school. I'm in school for psychology. I'm in my fourth year right now. Oh, I'm doing a double major in psychology and sociology, actually. Oh, cool. Where we're at? Uh, U of A. I'm just nine courses from finishing. I'm just taking a little bit of a break at the moment. Okay, yeah, that's kind of with me too. I'm like in my last year right now. I love that. Yeah, I, yeah I'm pretty close to finishing. It'll be exciting. What do you want to do with your degree? I'm thinking of uh, going to go the, uh, <laughs> getting the <laughs> master's and then... Um, Becoming a psychologist and then having my own practice. That's kind of like the game plan. That'd be really cool. What yeah. made you interested in that? 
I just wanted to help people, and I'm just like really into like psychology. I love yeah, what that. about you? Um, I just I've always found like the why of like anything so interesting. So especially like the brain, I find really interesting to learn about because it kind of like makes everything make sense. But yeah, I don't know. It just was really interesting. Um, how old are you? Also, I guess <laughs> I'm 24. Are you? Um, I'm 25, turning 26. Okay. Okay. So. Perfect. But you like deal breaker. Ooh, um, judgmentalness. Oh, okay, okay. For me, uh, it's horoscopes. But oh, sorry. oh, I was just gonna say, what's your what's your um sign? Oh uh, God, you're one of those. I mean, come on, what's the problem? The planets have power. Do you like? Are you like one of those like you worship crystals and stuff? Is that what you, you do? That you don't really worship crystals, but oh. like I have a lot of them. Oh gosh, that's not how it works. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> Good? Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Um, so um I'd like to know what's your age? Just um Um I'm twenty-five. Twenty-five, okay. How old are you? Okay, so um are you like when was the last time you, you were in a relationship or has it been like, um, like um I was dating a girl um a couple months ago I guess but that would have been like the last time. What about you? Oh okay. So um I think mine has been like almost two years but um, it's more of a choice. Uh, so if I understand you are you like um bisexual or something? Yes I am. Okay. Well I just I like people. I don't really like I don't like labeling it as much, but yeah. Okay. Um, what are your like hobbies and interests? Um, okay, for hobbies, um, I'm very simple. I don't have so many, but I'm more of a sports person. Um, largely football, uh, basically, and um, watching stuff online. Well, nothing too much. Nothing too serious. How are you? That's fun. Um, I really like like anime and like crocheting and I'm really into like raves and festivals and stuff like that and I spend a lot of time going to those on the weekends. Okay. Okay. So like what's your red flag? A red flag is definitely like people who are judgmental or like not open minded to things. Okay. I just don't really have time for it. Okay. That's fine. What about you? Uh well for me, uh, I mean it's I just prefer people that are simple, so if you are not a simple person, if you are complicated, then that's a red flag for me. Yeah. So complicated is could range from just, I mean, being overly sensitive in a sense. Yeah. I think that's it. Yeah. Interesting. What's your number? I'm number three. How about you? I'm number two. Nice to meet you, number two. You as well. Thank you, thank you. How has your day been going? Um, it's been pretty good. I woke up super late, so that was a little bit stressful, but other than that, it's been good. How has yours been? Same, kind of long. For us and the guys on the other door, we're just waiting patiently. Oh, poor we're, guys. We're, you know, we're just so excited to, to meet all our lovely matches. Well, that's so sweet of you. To God. Um, how old are you and what do you do? I'm 23. I work in trades, construction, blue collar type. I do a lot of things though. How about yourself? How old are you? How, what do you do? Um, that's interesting. I am 25. I'm turning 26 in October. Nice. And I was doing respite work for kids with disabilities, but I recently started doing like a caretaker position for a teenager who's been going through a hard time and her brother. Mm -hmm. So it's been really rewarding so far, actually. Yeah, like working with the youth, uplifting. I love working with kids. It's a bit different than like the younger ones that I'm used to. Mm -hmm. I normally do like toddlers and stuff like, like that. Like C-Y-C-R-E, easy. But, yeah, but the teenagers are fun because they have like real personalities, like you can have real conversations with them. Mm -hmm. It's interesting. Mm -hmm. um, what are your like hobbies or interests? Uh, I like to stay indoors. Sometimes I do like outdoor activities, going out to walks, being in nature. But then when I do get some time off for it, because I do work a lot of hours, sometimes I just like to de-stress inside, listen to music. That makes sense. Eat food, vibe, cook. Do I'm, some like low intensity. Not I'm definitely a big homebody as yeah, well. So. And like... I love to cook and bake, but mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, what would be like your favorite thing to cook for like a weekend at the end of a long week? Uh, oh, oh, 
Rice and peas. Rice and peas? Yeah. Interesting. Rice and peas, some nice like oxtail. Very, like basic, I like it. Yeah. Not too special, but anything you like? Um, I love pasta. I'm definitely yeah. a big like pasta person. Mm-hmm, but, mm-hmm. I'm having yeah. a good time talking to you. You me as well, thank you. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. What's your age? Um, I'm 25. I'll be 26 in October. How old are you? I'm 27. Okay. What do you do for work? I work in a warehouse. How about you? Um, I was doing respite work for kids with disabilities, but now I'm a caretaker for a couple of teenagers. Is it something you enjoy? Uh, I love working with kids. It makes me really happy and it's very like rewarding. It's definitely my favorite type of work I've ever done. Do you have kids of your, of your own? Um, I really, really want kids, but I don't have any yet. No. Do no, you? Uh, no, I don't have any right now. Uh, do, you? do you, how many do you want? Oh my goodness. Um, I want like five because I'm crazy, but. <laughs> Is that crazy in a good way or a bad way? Um, good way. Okay. Like I just love kids and I want to be able to enjoy being a mother and like have more experiences with that and I don't know I just feel like that's like what my purpose and my calling is and that's what I've always been drawn to okay uh what's a deal breaker a deal breaker yeah um when people are like judgmental or like not open-minded it's definitely like a big red flag to me (laughs) do you find a lot of those like people are not open-minded um I'm very like spiritual and stuff like that so I'm a little bit cautious about like people that I talk to about certain things just because of how people view things, but definitely okay. have experienced a lot of judgmentalness. I'm from a small town. Okay. So when you say I'm your spiritual, in what way? Um, I am into like astrology and tarot and stuff like that, but I, yeah, I just, I don't, I take what I find meaningful from each religion kind of and like make my own version, I guess, or. Okay. I don't know, my own values and morals. All right, I get it. Um, can I ask what your sign is? Taurus. Taurus? Oh, okay. Yours? Um, I'm a Libra. Hi, how's it going? How are you? Good. Um, my name is number one. Um, I'm number two. Oh, uh, okay. And how old are you? I'm 25. I'll be 26 in October. How old are you? I'm 27. Okay. 27, yeah. Um, what do you do? Um, I was doing respite work for kids with disabilities, but right now I'm a caregiver for a couple of teenagers. One of them's like going through a hard time, so I'm just trying to help her through it. What about you? Um, I'm an event director, um, event coordinator. And even plan out. So basically, I work for myself. I don't have a regular nine to five job. That sounds really interesting. Actually, that's nice. You have like the flexibility to do stuff with your time. It is. It is. Um, what are your hobbies? What do you do? Uh, what are your hobbies? Like, what do you do in fun time? Um, I I don't know. I'm kind of lame. I'm a bit of a homebody. I really like like anime and crocheting, and like I read tarot cards, and I'm kind of spiritual and stuff like that. And I really enjoy going to like. PM shows and raves and stuff. What hmm. about you? Um, I like football. I love to play games and I love swimming. One of my favorite activities to do is scuba diving and um, basically swimming. Uh, yeah. What are your pet peeves? Like, what are the things you don't like and what are the things you basically cannot deal with? Things I don't like? Yeah. Um, I don't like, I don't know, like judgmental people or like people who just aren't open-minded to stuff. Like, I mm-hmm. have no time for that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Um, what is your sign? I'm curious. <laughs> ah, Scorpio. <laughs> yeah. Oh, interesting. Okay. What about you? Um, I'm a Libra. Libra. Um, do you have any other questions? I'm sorry. Yeah, I just, one more, just one more. Just yeah. one more question. Mm-hmm. Um, what do you think about guys in the entertainment industry? In pardon? What do you think about guys that go into entertainment events or that um, event clubs on a weekly basis? Well, I used to be a bartender for a few years, so I worked in the industry a little bit myself. Okay. But um, 
I, I don't know, I think that your job doesn't really define who you are as a person. It's more like your actions and how you move in your life than Sweet. that. Okay, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah, that's it for me. Thank you. <laughs>
You so can take it. Now she didn't blow it, so she accepted. No, no, as of right now, she didn't blow it. I mean, she want to match with you. Right. If you accept it, you take it. If you don't, then you blow, blow it out. If you guys accept it, then you walk. Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you so much, Apollo Jewelry Room, for allowing us to do this beautiful video today. Oh, such a great collaboration. Such a great venue, you know what I'm saying? As you guys can see, a big, spacious place, you know what I'm saying? Like, 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 big rooms, you know what I'm saying? You know, what I'm saying? You know weddings, weddings, events, events, YouTube videos, YouTube videos, YouTube videos. anything you want, anything, you guys. Oh my God. <laughs> you guys can have anything you, know you do what I'm with saying? this place. Dances, anything, guys. Make sure you, know you hit up, we we'll have the number down below. We have every single inquiries that you need for them. So let's just make a great, wonderful video. So thank you very much. Thank you. I love you.